Welcome back everyone, this is Traycon here, the gaming statistician. Uh, in the first episode I talked about campaign mode um, and just the basics that go along with that. Uh, for the second episode I figured I'd just talk about the uh, other main part of the game, uh, which is the player versus player portion, and that happens in my dungeon. Uh, you can't actually access this until you get to level 10, but it only takes a day or two anyways to get to level 10, so it's not a big deal. But uh, the player versus player, I'm still kind of figuring out. I'm not very good at it yet, but uh, I do all right. So one part about player versus player is you, you get this chest, and uh, it produces gold, and that's what these hammers up here are for. And you can upgrade your chest and how much gold it produces and how much it keeps safe over time with those hammers. But you can... You can see I have 6,300 gold available. Uh, I lost a little bit of gold because somebody uh, raided me. Uh, although my defenses are doing pretty well here. You can see um, I just recently changed my defensive structure. And uh, overall, in the last 10 hours, probably since I changed it, it's been doing pretty well. So this John Cheese, I won, gained 13 trophies. King Kong, I lost, lost 4, but then I gained 13, lost 4, lost 4, gained 12. So I'm gaining more than I'm losing, uh, which is good. Uh, but that's the main part here. You make a defensive team, and uh, your defensive team is just who others see when they click raid. And they see who your deep. Now I'm looking at other people's defensive teams, and I get to choose and try to pick a team that I want to battle. And you can look at their teams and see who they have. So this team has a a lot of uh, nature and not a lot of stars so that might be an option, I don't know. Uh, this guy here has a few high star characters so I might avoid attacking that one. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, this guy has two waters a nature and a... so. The, this right here, Willow and Shadow Blade, are both fast. And I won't get too much into this now, but fast characters attack first. Uh, in PvP, you go back and forth. It's fast, normal, and uh, slow characters. But if you if they have too fast and you have too fast, then the defense attacks once, you attack once, defense attacks once, you attack once. You get through your fast players, then the normal players attack, and then finally the slow players like this stone fist is always going to attack last because he's a slow player. I'm not 100% 100 sure if I want to attack this. It doesn't look too terrible and it does have two waters that I think I could take out reasonably quickly with some of my fires and it's got some nice scrolls here, 44 scrolls, so I'm going to go ahead and try this and see if I can <clears throat> take it out. So since it has two waters, I'm going to use Willow and uh, Tasume. I'm gonna get rid of Pontifex. I want to use, he's too slow. Uh, and Tasumi has a nice uh, buff where if he gets down on energy or down on life, he starts to do more damage. So he'll do well against the water. So I'll bring him as well. And I'm also gonna bring Shadow Blade and Lady Nimrel. So I have two fast characters, two normal characters, and uh, some decent firepower. So we'll go in here, see if I can beat this person's defensive team. If you win, you get things like scrolls, which we'll talk about later, you get gold, and you get trophies. And every two days there's a tournament, and if you get higher up in the tournament, uh, as you get more and more trophies, then you get better rewards. So, uh, I, I tend to win maybe one out of two is about what I'm doing. So Willow gets to go first. Hopefully it doesn't take Shadow Blade out. Ugh, that's unlucky. So Shadow Blade got crit. Oh, and, all right, so that was a really bad start. Uh, that was pretty unlucky. Let's see if we can take out, um, I can't remember her name, but this blue 32 here. If I can get her in one shot, I still have a chance. Okay, that's good. So I got her in one shot. Let's see if I can get uh, Willow in one shot with Lady Nimrels, because Fire does well against Nature with her get over here. Hopefully that will take out Willow. If that does, okay, now we're doing better. And Tasume, I don't want to use, he has this nice special ability, that, the Soul Shred that hits both people at once, but I don't want to use it yet. I want to take a little damage before I use that. So I'm going to go ahead and attack this tank here, start to do a little damage to him. He's probably going to use Taunt soon, too. 
Okay, this is going to be really close. I just lost Lady Namorel. Uh, let's see if I can get Willow to take out Shadow Blade. Oh, it got dodged. That's not good. I, I guess I'll just go for Shadow Blade. Oh, dodged again. This is going poorly. No. Oh, tank taunted, so I still don't want to use. Let's see how it goes here. Hopefully Willow survives one more round. No. All right. I'm gonna have to get really lucky here. Tsuma can do a lot of damage though, so once he gets hurt, I'm not gonna use it yet. Uh, actually, let's use this, the double chop. Maybe we can take out this tank in one hit. Okay, that's good, I still have a chance. Yeah, I might win this. Let's try to soul shred now. If I can survive one or two more attacks. Okay, I just need to get one more hit. Okay, it's gonna be really close. Basically, if he dodges, he wins. If he doesn't dodge, I win. And let's go ahead and hit it. Oh, he dodged. Oh, man, that is terrible luck. So I lost. Maybe made some poor choices by hitting the dodge, uh, hitting the dodge character too early on. So I lost five trophies. I'm rank 84 now, and you can see uh, the different ranks. I think they only show the top 200, 250, or something like that. I can't remember. Oh, they only show the top 100. But... Uh, your rewards, if you're in the top 100, you still get pretty good rewards. So you get uh, a token, 250 honor scrolls, and it goes down. After 176 plus, it's all the same. So that's the basics of player versus player. I'm still not very good at it. I, I think if I had made a couple other choices, I probably would have won that. Unfortunately, I lost it. Uh, but player versus player is pretty fun. Um, it uh, is evolving as the game is still fairly new, and they... they are making balancing changes and still changing the system some but uh, the fun part is just you know kind of open this raid see what teams you may or may not have available to face and if you want to try different teams there's this refresh button down here on the right and you get a few free refreshes but uh, you can start looking through teams and seeing which teams you think you can face and do well against so I might actually attack this uh, team as well uh, the video might be starting to get a little long already, though, so I'll probably stop the video here. But that's the basics of uh, player versus player. Uh, player versus player and campaign are the two main things you do in the game, but then there are also obvious things where they have quests, and uh, so you do those every day, and events, and we'll go over some of those things as time goes on. Uh, but thanks for watching again. I will have a new video out tomorrow as well. I'm going to try to do one of these if not every day, at least four or five a week. But, you know, right now I have a couple videos already done. So I think doing one every day for a little while should be doable.